Morning all. All right, so Saturday, September the 23rd, we're getting closer and closer, and it's scrimmage day, it seems, around the National Hockey League. Most teams having their scrimmage games where you have your, your white jerseys against whatever color, blue, red, black, whatever. And uh, people get hyped up for certain players, but again, it's a scrimmage, so you have to take what happens in those games with a grain of salt, but it is that next step towards getting into the games that matter. Uh, Parsonen miss, missed the scrimmage for the Nashville Predators. Lower body injury. No word on whether or not it's something that's going to keep him, out, keep him out for a while or if it's just a day-to-day -day thing. Uh, Ponomaryev uh, has a knee injury for Carolina. No return date for him as of yet. Uh, he may very well have had a spot in the lineup. We'll see whether or not he comes back and earns a spot in the lineup or where he ends up for this season. Uh, Carolina, of course, one of the favorites to win the Stanley Cup this year. So game two between Arizona and LA is tonight. Uh, I <laughs> I don't know that I'm going to stay up that late and watch another another game like that. Uh, there are a couple of games on TV tomorrow that I can I could do recaps for, anyways. So uh, I'm really trying to make sure that you know I'm I'm covering different teams throughout the preseason, and so Arizona and LA. I hope they have another great game, and I hope Australia enjoys it. And it's at the same time as it was last night. Uh, and then Arizona is going to be playing a lot today. So they're playing at 3 Eastern in St. Louis, and they're playing at 8 Eastern in Wichita. So that's three games for the Coyotes today. It is not the same roster. Uh, St. Louis, of course, split squad for them as well. Playing a game in Wichita at 8 Eastern, and it is the second year in a row <clears throat> that Intrust Bank Arena hosts these teams. Uh, last year, I believe St. Louis won this one 5-4. So preseason games in Wichita, Kansas? Sure, why not? Uh, the Minnesota Wild have made it official. Uh, this this is the third. Uh, the difference being they're, they've got a shoulder patch which has the state of Minnesota on it. And for the captains and alternate captains, they have a, a state-shaped, uh, basically a white state-shaped um, patch behind the C. Anyways, it's, it's weird. Uh, it's like, well, we can't sell them the same jersey. I don't know. Just throw a shoulder patch on it. Do you think that's going to be enough? Well, we're going to find out, right? Uh, Spencer Martin, notable. And this is notable. Uh, Vancouver having their scrimmage game. Spencer Martin, not one of the four goaltenders uh, to play in this game. Uh, group A versus Group B in this. And it's notable because Martin was the backup to start last season. And now he has clearly fallen off in terms of his spot in the depth chart. So... Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens there. Uh, but Spencer Martin very likely headed to Abbotsford. Uh, Austin Matthews is going to get penalty killing time this year. Says he hasn't played on the penalty kill since before he was in the NHL, and he's excited to do it. It does give a penalty kill more, more of a dangerous aspect when you've got a goal scorer like Matthews. And uh, Matthews is good defensively, so this is honestly a move that I think works. It is one of the few detractions you can have with his game. You could say, well, Matthews doesn't play on the penalty kill. They don't trust him that much. Well, now he does. So we'll see how things go for Matthews and as well for the Leafs. Uh, they're putting Klingberg on the first unit. They're trying him there as well. As all of the teams, of course, while they're just amongst their team for the preseason, trying to get everything figured out. And then during the preseason, we'll see how it works against other teams. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.